Hello everybody, I'm Purified, and this is the first episode of Taking Care of Stuff, and I've got a broken Razor Naga mouse. You can call it na uh, Naga, I call it Naga, but the left click doesn't work, there's no clicking. On the right side, when I push, I get click, 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 all over the edges, I get clicking. On the left side, not so much. I could pretty much pound on it, and there's no clicking. So let's take it apart and you can see in the bottom here there's Teflon tape all the way around it and there's four screws underneath and they're right on the edges. So you can see the first one right there. No need to, uh, you, you can peel it off, um, I wouldn't. I started peeling it off and I realized that yeah, I don't need it peeled off. You can just remove it where you need to access the screws, otherwise tape will get dirty you have to put it all back on and line it up no need so you can see where the second one was and the other two are right back here you can just peel up this edge and right by my thumb there two more screws all right so get your trusty little Phillips screwdriver probably one of the smaller ones that you have laying around and just remove all four screws so now that you have the screws removed you can simply pop this top body piece and the bottom off and there you have two separate pieces all right and this is how it works you left click and there's a plastic piece that goes down and clicks this white button here on the left by the screwdriver same thing with the right click and it's attached and what happened on ours is it's not connecting over here on the left side and making it click and what broke off was this little plastic piece right there and that goes right here through this guide and then when you left click it pushes up and clicks the button for you so we're going to glue that back on but first we've got to take this apart because it, I don't want to glue it by the, the guide uh, it's just asking for trouble so we're gonna just take the weight off to make it easier to work with and then we're gonna pop it out so that we can just work with that one piece so this is two pieces and you can see that there's clips that hang it uh, attach it along with a pole a little guide rod in the middle and there's two clips but you want to separate pull the clips back and separate it and then you're gonna want to do the same thing on the sides and I actually end up breaking mine so here's where I break it see the little plastic tab on my thumb on the left just comes right off gotta be very careful but while we're gluing why well, stop get plenty of glue so we'll just work this apart and now we've got our piece that we want to work with so we won't be getting glue all over the other piece and then you can also see up here in the left the two pieces that we need to glue back on. So there you go. Let's get to work. Um, all, all I'm going to use is some super glue. I'm just going to clean this off right here. And then I'm going to get my tube of super glue, my trusty super glue. And then basically I'm just going to run a bead along the two broken edges. Uh, not too much right now. I mean, it's gonna run. Super glue is pretty runny, so it's kind of hard to put it on just enough. It seems like, but then we'll put it on this broken piece as well, and then we'll line them up. Make sure everything's pointing in the right direction, the way you want it, and then once we get it all lined up, I'm kind of gonna do an outside coat of it, just kind of like a weld, a little strengthener. Um, it does, you know, have a thickness to it, so even when it dries, so you don't, if you have a clearance issue, you got to be careful, but I, I should be fine way up there where the break is. And then I've got a skewer that I'm just kind of lining it up with and spreading out the glue. And then I'll just go all the way around the crack and reinforce the, the break. And then you can see this is the, the part of the clicker that broke off. I'm actually going to take that little tip off 
right there that I spun it with. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing as I did with the other piece on the super glue. Now here's where it's going to be easier to work with if I would have kept those other two pieces together, this piece and then the piece that this slides over, it would have been kind of disastrous. Now I can work with it freely. I apply glue on the edge of both pieces and then I just get it on there and now I can work with it to get it exactly where I want it to let it dry. And once again, I've got my trusty skewer to do that. And I'm just going to keep working with it till I've got it exactly where I want it. It's very important that it's exactly in place because I don't want it breaking again. If it broke once there, hopefully this will make it stronger, but um, that should do it. Now, I let it dry overnight for 24 hours, and I'm coming back and checking it and it's very sturdy. I'm actually quite surprised. Um, I did the outside kind of extra coat like I did on the side piece. Um, off camera I took a uh, hot glue gun on that side piece there and that didn't work so well. I'm actually going to end up peeling that off. But the super glue piece, both of these are very strong. So I'm, I'm quite happy with the results of the super glue and this is uh, not necessary so don't try a hot glue gun but now that it's dry and you want to let it dry also because you don't want any wet glue getting back in here when you put these two pieces back together otherwise your um, mouse might not function correctly the left button could get glued so be careful of that but now I'm it's dry I'm snapping it back together and I'm ready to Put the mouse back together and see how it works. Now we'll just do the opposite of taking it apart. Um, you have to put the screws in to tell if it's going to work. It's got to be fully tightened and the front two screws depending upon how tight you make them kind of act as set screws so you want to be careful that when you're putting in the, the back two screws you want to tighten as much as possible. Don't strip the plastic but the front two screws, um, you can kind of control the distance that that plastic piece is from the button with the front two screws. So keep that in mind when you're replacing those. But now I've got it back together, and guess what? My left clicker doesn't work. <laughs> oh man. So I've got a quick remedy for this. So now we've got to take it apart again. And what I've got is my Dremel, or my rotary tool. It's not actually, it's just a cheap Harbor Freight. And I'm gonna take a little bit off, and I'm only gonna take a little bit off. Um, I don't wanna take too much, otherwise I'm screwed. I can always take more off, but I can't add it back on as easily. It actually took me two attempts, but I've got it to work, listen. All right, well that worked. That saved me 70 bucks. I hope it helps somebody out there as well. Well, thanks for watching the video. If you have any comments, leave those below. I'm Purified. Take care, everybody.